Hi, I'm Robert England, a.k.a. Freddy Krueger. And I'm Heather Langenkamp, a.k.a. Nancy Thompson. And we're here at the original Elm Street house for E.T. Online. I'd like to do a little E.T. Online speed round, a little nightmare on Elm Street speed round with you guys, just off the top of your head. Favorite film of the Nightmare franchise? One. Wes Craven's new Nightmare 7. And why? Oh, just the purity of it, the, the beauty of that first time of trying something new and, and the great characters that were introduced to the world. On 7, it was a reunion. We all It was 10 years later. We all got back together again, John Saxon, Wes, Heather and I. And we looked better. Don't you and, think we did? And that movie holds up, and I love the whole great subliminal L.A. earthquake. Mm, you know, yeah, that was I think that it's was really fantastic. a strong film. And the wardrobe was way yeah. better for Aunt Nancy. Favorite line from the film franchise? Welcome to prime time, bitch. Yeah, that's... <laughs> well, the fan favorite is whatever you do, don't fall asleep. That's definitely the fan favorite. But I like um, screw sleep. That's my favorite <laughs> one. <laughs> I like the hall pass one, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah, screw that's, your pass. Uh, that's... Worst line of the franchise? Uh, um, gosh, I like most of them. I, I guess... I guess there, I, mm. I, I improvised another one that's a little a little vicious, which is ever play skin the cat, <laughs> you know, which may be a little nasty. Favorite horror movie icon that is not Freddy Krueger? Well, I love mm. Karloff, and I also love Anthony Hopkins' Hannibal Lecter. Mm. I like Brian Cox's Hannibal Lecter, too. Mm. Gosh, Man that's Hunter. such a good one. Yeah. Can I say Jaws? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> that's my favorite. <laughs> favorite horror heroine who is not Nancy? I'm a big fan of Deborah Carr in The Innocents. Uh, I just think that's, you know, she's very repressed and buttoned up in that. But I, I really, there's something about that that it's, and, and you know, I got to tell you, when I was a kid, I would, I would swear we, all, we would have sleepovers. And of course, this is the late 1950s or the middle 1950s, and we would watch it on television on The Late Show. And it, the movie was made in the 30s. But I would swear you could, that, that that, that Fay Ray wasn't wearing a bra. So I really? Like Fay Ray and King Kong. I think there's an uncut version. I have to say that I am a, uh, a Karen Black fan. Ooh, yeah. yeah, I grew up really just just amazed by what that woman could do to scare me. And finally, favorite horror movie director? Well, it'd have to be Wes Craven. Well, I lo you know, it's so great having Wes on a set, too, because he's, he's like a double threat. He's writer-director. Mm. Uh, and and it's, you just feel so comfortable and in such good hands. And as I've said before, and I'll say it again, Wes is erudite and classy, and he's sort of like a preppy Don Quixote. <laughs> but Wes... He's, and he's kept the fourteen-year-old boy in him alive, yeah. and I think it's a real juggling match that that is very underrated with a lot of people. He's kept the imaginative wonder of a boy alive in him. Hi, I'm Robert England, and A.K.A. I One, two. Hi, I'm Robert England, A.K.A. Freddy Krueger, and I'm Heather Langenkamp, A.K.A. Nancy Thompson, and we're here. At the Elm Street House. For. ET Online.